Hello and welcome, this is Jonathan Pack in your friendly chem AD organic chemistry class. I will be talking through this organic chemistry safety video. Let's just go ahead and get started. Let's just get started right quick, okay? <laughs> Let's make this quick for you and me. Hi everyone, welcome to your first day of your organic chemistry class. Advanced Melanie, you guys are ready for a nice semester of literal I, I mean, prop, um, <coughs> proper lab attire. Uh, very, very important proper lab attire. Uh, this is Kim on the. Come on, bruh! What's she wearing? Go back a little bit more. Okay, so uh, this person is clearly not ready. Kim is not ready for lab. Okay? Um, She's wearing the slippers, which you gotta wear the closed toe shoes. She's wearing the shorts. You gotta be wearing the long pants. And you gotta be wearing a lab coat over that Hawaiian floral, and you know, you know, what I'm saying little, little, little shirt. But and, and the goggles, you, you gotta be wearing the proper lab goggles that completely encases your eyes and protects you. Okay, let's just go through this. It's just you know, this is exactly what you don't want to do. Notice how she has the water out, right? You can't be eating or drinking in the lab. It's very important. Okay. And now, perfect. Oh my, so perfect. This is exactly what you want to be wearing. You want to be wearing the close toes shoes and the long pants because it protects you from chemical spills. Very important. You want to be wearing the lab coat over whatever you have on because it protects not only does it protect your torso and your upper body from chemical spills, it also protects your forearms when you're working inside the fume hood, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's good. And the goggles, perfect. It's exactly what you want to wear. It has to completely encase your eyes. And you want to make sure your shoes are always tied anywhere you go. Anywhere. Not just the lab, but anywhere, okay? You gotta be safe. Safety is number one. Material safety data sheet, the MSDS. Now, this is the major difference between Chem 50 and Chem 80. What is the MSDS? So the MSDS is basically a list of papers, and basically it tells you what kind of chemical you're working with, the specificities of that chemical, how to you know store it properly, the safety precautions, and what to do when an accident does occur. <clears throat> and basically, that links to this hazardous materials classification where it tells you how dangerous the chemical is based off its fire hazards, its instability, its specific hazards, or its health hazard, you know? And the, as, it, as the numbers increase, that means it's more dangerous and more potentially, you know, harmful for your classmates and, and you as well. And basically, you gotta understand this and you gotta know that um, specific things means uh, certain things and you gotta make sure you always do this before you're, before you're doing your lab because you gotta understand that safety is number one in any lab situation. Very important. This right here is the list of specific, you know, risks your chemicals can do to people. And this, this means your chemical can be potentially carcinogenic, this means it's pressurized gas, you know what I'm saying? All of these things means it's, you know, it's dangerous, but this is exactly why you need to understand what your chemicals do and can do to you, and it's obviously your right to know. It's very important, very, very, very important. Let's just go ahead and continue with this video. More under the sea. And working in the fume hood. It's extremely important that you're working inside the fume hood, not outside, but inside, but inside, but inside the fume hood, okay? <clears throat> this is Caitlyn, okay? Um, she's not wearing her gloves right here, okay? She's, I mean, she's clearly mixing her chemicals with her hand. That's, you, you can't be doing that. It's very dangerous. And lastly, she's not working inside the fume hood, okay? The fume hood is very, very important. Why do you need to work in the fume hood? Well, the fume hood absorbs all the harmful vapors and it protects as a, it's like a barrier. It blocks anything. If something shatters, explodes, or anything happens, it's a barrier. It's very important. So let's just go ahead and continue to see. Please don't drink. Please, bro. Please, please work inside the fume hood. Work inside the fume hood. Work inside the fume hood. Yes, yes, yes. That's perfect, that's exactly what you want to be doing. This is Caitlyn, okay? So she's working with a glass stirring rod. She's mixing her chemicals with the glass stirring rod. That's an apparatus used to, you know, mix certain things. Perfect. She has the gloves on. Perfect. She's working inside the fume hood. Excellent. That's exactly what you want to be doing. You always want to be working inside the fume hood, okay? It's very, very important. Yeah, laugh it off. Okay. Cross contamination. Contamination cross. Cross of the contamination, okay? Let's just go through this, you know, Melanie and Kim are doing the experiment and stuff, yada yada yada, but there's something on their hands, but there's something on their hands, and they don't realize it, they don't realize it, but it's fine, it's fine, but, but you know what you want, you don't want to be taking pictures with the glove you just cross-contaminated with, okay, none of that, please, don't do that, very important that you don't do that, what's that phone gonna go, into your backpack, into your house, it's gonna go everywhere, okay, you don't want to be doing that, 
just continue. So this is still a good protocol. She's working inside the fume hood. Very, very, very important. Very important. But wait, but wait, they don't have five. They look at the gloves and they go, oh man, something is wrong. Something is off. They take off the gloves. Now, for proper, proper glove disposal, if it's contaminated with the chemical, if something is on it, you have to throw it away in the solid waste container, which will be shown momentarily. But if it's okay, and it's 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 just water or something, you can just throw it away inside the trash can. Simply, you can just throw it away inside the trash can if it's not something dangerous. Okay. Uh, okay. So <clears throat> throwing your chemicals away all depends on the type of chemicals you're working with, and that's going to be from your pre-lab and from asking the professor. Just making sure. Okay. You want to be throwing um, chemicals that are okay to throw away inside the sink in the sink. Okay. But if there are specific chemicals that you can't throw in the sink, there are specific vials in this fume hood that you gotta put your chemicals in, and you know that's the proper waste disposal. Let's just continue. Let's just continue. She's per okay. This is fine because the chemicals are okay to be thrown away. And here and <laughs> don't drop your beakers. They're literally worth more than your degree and mine combined. I'm kidding. Anyways, let's just go through. This is the proper way to dispose of your chemicals. Okay, so you have the solid waste disposed container, which is right here. That's where she's throwing her contaminated gloves, and this is where she's throwing her away her chemicals. Very important. Very, very, very important. In the chemical free zone. So listen, 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 listen. Just, just stop. Just stop right here. So first of all, inside the chemical free zone, it's not like Chem 50 where you have cubbies for your backpacks. You have a big open area. You want to put your backpack under the desk and under the table, right, right, right here. You want to put your backpack under here. Now, this is the chemical free zone, so you probably do not want to bring chemicals in the chemical free zone. Because look, look what happens. Look, look, look what happens. My future is over. No undergrad. No degree. I'm done. This is the, what she, she's demonstrating right here is exactly what you want to do. You want to be walking around. You want to be always walking around and throwing your chemicals away in the proper waste disposal. This is perfect. This is golden. This is exactly what you want to be doing. Okay, now if you get hit, if you get hit. Quick, go, go quick, go quick, go to the emergency shower. You gotta take off your stuff, you gotta start screaming at the professor, and you're done. Stay in class, I hope you have fun. Stay safe. Organic chemistry is a great class, make sure you don't drop it. Make sure you follow all the precautions and safety Drop it if you're getting enough. I'm kidding, don't drop it. <laughs> hope you guys have an excellent semester filled with wonders and magic of nucleophilic attacks. Goodbye.